Good day, brothers and sisters. Welcome to my home. I have a quick word to share with you today. It's about a prophecy that has come to pass that I had had. Uh, it, it began on uh, March the 2nd of 2023, and I needed to share this on uh, March the 5th. And you can go back in, in my video and see that. And I will put a link down below after I finish sharing this word that this had happened on March the 2nd, but I shared it on March the 5th of 2023. It was a, a vision of a hospital vision of which I would say that the Lord had given me. And so at, on this day, I had laid down just after a real strong tiredness came on me. And this is something that a lot of times God does through me and is like I could just be uh, doing something you know, just whatever through my day. And then all of a sudden it, I have to uh, go lay down. And uh, it's like a real un uncontrollable tiredness. Then I will, you know, like I was saying, I will go lay down. And at this time, I could see very clearly, you know, it's like all of a sudden, there's just all of this darkness. But I could see very clearly now that I was in a hospital room. And all dressed in white, there was this uh, woman. She was making up a bed when all of a sudden that I could see up in this ventilation system in the ceiling, some sort of a vapor. And uh, it was like a like between a vapor and a gas, and it was like kind of like a yellowish greenish thing, you know, and like, and like kind of in a sort too, like a a dark gray. And uh, so it was coming out of the the ventilation system, and and that all that I could see was those certain things that the Lord had shown me, and so I knew that there was something that was that was up, that was that was going to come into the hospital system that was going to really wreak a lot of havoc. And I knew that it was something that was not meant to be. It was some sort of a gas or a poison or something that was coming through the ventilation system. And I had wondered about that because uh, I knew it was an attack of the enemy. You know, it's like when I see some of these um, dark, like, uh, like gassy things that are in the, in the spirit realm, they do look like a grayish thing. A lot of times of what the Lord has shown me in the past. And what are we seeing that some of the, the things that are happening in this day and time in China, there are a lot of people that are getting sick and it just seems to be certain age groups, like where it's begin with the children and, uh, you know, like, and then it kind of just goes from place to place. And it, of course it filters in, you know, into the adults in uh, certain places. And I remember different times before. The Lord had told me that there were going there were, there were going to be tax that were going to be coming some certain um, things that were going to be released in the air and I really do believe that this is a time where that this you know word that I'm sharing today goes away back to March you know the fifth of which I shared this video and a lot of people had. Uh, you know, shared, you know, in the future that there was going to be another pandemic and that sort of thing. And I really do believe that this is the time that some of this is really starting to transpire now. Like, you know, when the Lord shows me these things, he doesn't say exact time frames, but when something starts to happen, he will get me to go back and share the word that I had at that time because a lot of times like I was saying people aren't really sure if it's a, a true prophecy that's going to come to pass but when it does come to pass we have to share it because when God gives us these prophecies and some of these things that are um going to happen in the future he gives us you know like we only know in part so we can ever you know like only actually prophesy in part and so that is what i have done because he gave me that part uh, of the prophecy at the time and so now some of this stuff is coming to pass and so i need to share it again and like i said i will share you know, in the description below, you can find that video and I will leave the link there. So I really do pray that God will protect each and every one of you. And that is what I will be doing too. Because when the Lord shows me these things, I will begin to pray and intercede so that the people's lives will not be lost. And most of the time that these things will not come to pass. 
And so, like I was saying, I will continue to pray that that people will be safe and that, you know, the plans that the enemy has, has tried to uh, put out there, I pray that they will be squashed in Jesus' name. You know, I'm praying every day for people, whether it's in government, whether it's Israel or, you know, these leaders around the world, I'll just pray that any evil that they are trying to bring against other countries and, you know, what have you. I will pray that God's will will override what the enemy's plan is through these people because, you know, these people, they don't realize a lot of times that they are being taken over by an evil spirit to do the enemy, the devil's plans, you know. So uh, I really hope that each and every one of you are, that you won't be in fear, that you'll continue to go to God, take this word to God, because uh, maybe some, this word may not be for all of you today, but just take it before the Lord to see what he would tell you about that word. And if there's something that you uh, maybe would like to leave in the comments, a question or, you know, your view on things, um, I'm open for that. So like, share, and subscribe, share this with someone else. And, you know, I really hope that this will be a blessing to you because God is always going to be preparing us for the things that are coming on the world. You know, no matter what country it is, he wants us to be prepared so that we can, like I was saying, actually pray that these terrible catastrophes and stuff do not happen and that your lives will be uh, protected and that you'll be safe and that if there's some place, maybe Maybe that you need to move to and from God I just pray that God will guide and direct you to where that would be so that you can remain safe and I myself in past years, the Lord has shown me different times where uh, maybe my new provision was going to be. Like maybe my job that I had had, you know, at, at one place at a time was over with. And uh, it was time for something new, like either a new teaching, a new job, a new place to live. But he will do that all the time. But as long as we are willing to go with his direction, we will be safe and we will be prepared. So I hope that this blesses you today. Like I was saying, like, share, and subscribe. Share it with someone else because many of the words that God is giving at this time are not just for me and they're not just for you. They're for everyone. And God will use many people that will speak the words that he wants them to, to speak. And he will show us in dreams and visions in similitude so that we will be prepared and he will guide and direct us each and every day. So God bless you today, my brothers and sisters. So thank you for stopping by.